It's time for another hot dish from Happy Healthy Why. Looking to spice up your life? Try this no gills fish dish. Okay, first you want to chop up your fish. Make sure it's nice and frosted, easy to chop through, so you can get it ready to put into the pan. Now that the fish is all chopped, it's time to put together the spices. We're going to add one tablespoon of paprika, two teaspoons ground coriander, one and a half teaspoons ground cumin, quarter teaspoon ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper all together and stir it up to get a nice mixture that we're going to fry all together at once. All right, now it's time to prepare the garlic. Make sure you peel the garlic not so hard. And once you peel all four cloves of garlic, I prefer to use a cheese grater, one of the finest cheese graters I can find, to make the garlic really small when you cook it, so there are no big chunks when you cook the garlic. Now that the garlic is all ready, we are going to prepare the other vegetables. So first, we're just going to pour out the spinach on the plate that was frozen to make it easier to put into the dish when ready for it. And after that, we are now going to slice up the zucchini. For this dish, thin slices are better, so it's nice to make them all really thin. Plus, once you've made them thin, uh, it's good to put them in quarters to make them smaller so it's easier to handle. So that doesn't take very long. Once you get all those ready, then we are ready to start cooking. Now we're going to take all of the ingredients over to the stove, put the pan on a high heat, and then we're going to add three tablespoons of oil. We're going to get that oil nice and hot. You can check the doneness of the oil, the heat of the oil, by moving the pan back and forth. When it flows freely, it's ready. So we're going to, now that it was flowing freely, we're going to chop in all that garlic, dump it down, along with the spices. So we're going to fry up the garlic and the spices all together for about 30 seconds, making sure to stir constantly so that the spices get uh, together and mixed in thoroughly. All right, now the mixture is nice and fried, we're going to put in the tomato paste and then fry this one with the spices as well for, oh, about a minute or two until it's nice and fried all together and you can really smell the spices coming through. Now that the tomato paste and the spices have been fried together and they got a nice rich red color, we're going to add two cups of water to thin out our beautifully wonderful aroma of the spices we have now fried. So after we do that, we're gonna spread it out a little bit to that sauce, though we need to add two teaspoons of sugar. And then we're also going to add to it one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, along with some freshly ground black pepper to round out the flavor profile. Then we want to make sure we're going to stir this up after that to make it nice and liquidy and all in one uh, liquid format to make it ready for the raising of the rest of the food. Okay, once the sauce has been well mixed together and it's pretty warm, we're going to add in the frozen spinach. And we're going to cook that for about two or three minutes just so we can separate all the frozen spinach parts and make sure it gets cooked nicely before we start using it as a braising sauce. Now I ran out of film so I didn't show it here but the zucchini got added in as well. Then we covered it and put it on medium heat until it gets a nice a nice simmer going. It takes probably about oh three to four minutes so we got a nice simmer ready to go ahead and cook our fish. Now that the braising sauce is nicely boiling we are going to turn the heat down a little bit so that we're going to cook the fish in a nice slow Simmer. So we're gonna, now that the sauce you can see is bubbling, we turn the heat down and it's time to put in the fish. Once the fish is placed in, you're going to push it down a little bit, make sure it's nice and all the way in the sauce to get that full flavor. And then go ahead and cover the dish. And we're going to cook it for about 5 to 10 minutes till the fish is nice and done.
After cooking the fish for your 5 to 10 minutes, it's time to check to see if it's done. So bring and feed the fish up, and if you know it looks white, that's good. If you break into it and you see it's all cooked through, then your fish is ready to take out. So we're going to take it out and put it on a plate and get it ready to eat. Oh, I guess the good news is that you can't taste the spinach or the vegetables at all. One of the things is that the fish's texture is like really soft and mushy. Reminds of a wet moth. This dish has an interesting flavor because it's mostly like salty or spices, but then you have like a kick of the sweet side, but it's also kind of spicy. So it's a whole flurry of flavors, flavors. Mmm, that's pretty good, I would say. And I disagree with Teddy. The fish does have texture that's not like a wet mop. Mmm, it's more like Maybe a bit stringy-ish, like a tiny bit tough, but it's not mushy, wet, wet mop, wet mop. Happy Healthy Wife Chef, Barry here, reminding you to click on that like button or leave a comment down below, it helps out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.